Hey, I'm Tatiana with 10 Minute Tasks. In today's video, I will be showing you how I make these half moon shelves. I've made them all around my house. So you know how people have these like big credenzas. They'll have like a table right next to the door for their keys. You can see this area right here has nothing going on and we are constantly looking for our keys and we put our keys usually over here, but I don't think that's the best place for it. So I think right by the door is gonna be good. I'm gonna measure it and just make little marks and then I will hold it right there. They have multi-uses. You can do these in multiple colors and you can customize them. There are brackets that you can buy, any kind of bracket that you want. They sell them at your local hardware store and I'll also leave links to everything in the description box for your reference. So in this video, I will show you how I make these half moon shelves and how to put it on the wall so that it's nice and secure. You can order these pine round boards in multiple sizes. I have a 24 inch and an 18 inch, and I found mine at my local hardware store. However, you can find these smaller ones on Amazon. Look at the board that you have and measure it on both sides so that you can cut it in half. You want it a straight cut in half so that it'll go flat against the wall. And you can ask someone at your local hardware store to make a cut for you. And in order to paint them, you want a foam roller kit. And what you want is high gloss paint because the high gloss is gonna be easier to clean and you can match the brackets in different colors as well, but I actually had just the metal color and then I spray painted the brackets. And lastly, you can drill a little pilot hole and then just screw in these hooks and you can hook things like keys or hats or scarves or coats or whatever you want. I calculated the cost if I were to make six of these. Each shelf would cost me $13.67 so this wall, I'm gonna measure it from here to here. Okay, so that's at three feet, more or less. So 36 inches. So half of 36 is, that's 18 inches. So there's the 18, I'm gonna mark it right a quarter inch past right there. And then I'm gonna meet this point with the middle of the shelf and it's about 18 inches across so half of 18 is nine this is just under the 18 mark so i'm going to put it just under the nine mark and I'm gonna make a little pencil mark right there right under the nine so i'm also going to use this leveler to make sure that it's straight so that bubble needs to be in the middle Oops, is that it? Is that in the middle? Yeah. Okay, so now I have those two points meeting up and then this has to be straight. So I'm gonna put that in the middle and then I'm going to mark it with a pencil like that. That one I'm gonna mark with a pencil. There's another mark. I'm gonna try and get the mark in the pen with the pencil as much in the middle as possible so that it holds evenly. I'm gonna use this drill bit and use it as a pilot for putting in the screw. And I use these, these are the best. And it holds up to 675 pounds in concrete, which I don't have a concrete wall, holds up to 69 pounds in half inch drywall. So I think that's about a half inch drywall that I have and it just secures it in place in the drywall. I love these. These hold up the best from anywhere else I've found. You can find them at Lowe's or Home Depot. 
and I highly, highly recommend. All of the other ones, I had to throw away. They're not good, so. When drilling in, you just want the drill to be as straight as possible, and then it, this part has to be out because you're gonna be drilling in, and then you use a reverse to drill out. I'm gonna use it right on the dot that I've already marked. Oh, that went straight through. So that means that it's on a drywall. Right now, here's the anchor. I'm gonna put it into the hole, and then I'm going to hammer it in. Okay, I've got part of it hammered in. And I just want it flat against the wall like that. Okay, now this screw is just gonna go straight through that hole. So in order to secure it, I'm gonna use one of these washers and it's just gonna hold it in place. There it stays and it's not gonna go through, it'll hold. Now I'm gonna use this to screw it in. So let me get it all tight. Okay, so I drilled this in about three quarters of the way in and three quarters here. I'm gonna do it like that just to make sure that it's level here. Okay, so I'm using the leveler. It does look like it's a little bit to the side. So I'm gonna adjust it so it's level. Now it's more level, so I'm gonna continue drilling in and make these secure. So now I can put my keys here and those hooks are strong enough to hold a coat. I can also put some sunglasses, a wallet. It's tall enough so my toddler can't get to it. I'm really happy with the way that this looks. I usually leave our coats up here, but if someone didn't know and they just hooked it up here, that would be fine because it's strong enough to hold. Hey, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell too to be notified of the very next video. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.